Hello, welcome to StereoPixel. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the subsurf modifier or the subdivisional surface modifier in Blender. Now, what the subsurf modifier do? Now, if you see the viewport, uh, you can see one uh, unsmooth version of a box and a uh, monkey or Susan and another a smoother version of uh, the box and the monkey though this is I can't say it's a box but still uh, what actually subsurf modifier do is it creates a more smoother version of your model which can uh, make your model uh, looks like more organic or more smooth in, in short so if I hit render the current scene here you can see that this model of Suzanne is very hard-edged there is no smoothness at all it's looking like a very tough or you know, make, make it some something more hard rather than this one this one is more, more smoother and finished model now I have applied uh, the same subsurf modifier into a box and that box actually converted into the spherical look like object over here now I will explain how these things are actually uh, being calculated and how you get the smoother version of a render output in viewport and also uh, in uh, in the render now it's a it's a it's a little tricky and uh, uh, which if you balance uh, some of your uh, you know options so you can really uh, help yourself uh, by ha for handling a very uh, very complicated scene where a lot of different kind of objects are out there or maybe a lot of heavy detailing objects are out there so subsurf modifier uh, can work like a magic for you okay so first what i will do is i will just delete these two okay and i'm just going to copy them into the x-axis just duplicate them by using shift D okay so now if I select this one or uh, maybe this one and there are two ways to make your model appear smoother in the viewport now one is in the tools you'll see there is a shading it's called flat and smooth there is a two options one is flat another three, one, another one is smooth now by default you will see the flat version of your model you won't get the smoother version if you hit smooth you will see immediately the the shading of each and every uh, face has been normalized or maybe you can say it's, a, it's an average out your uh, model so it's automatically appearing a, a smoother version the the part the most important thing is that if you hit render also you will see that there is some difference already been happened but this is not going to give you a very uh, you know uh, final output or some still the edges that if you if you zoom in you can see the edges are not exactly smooth it's though the uh, 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 the in between part or the middle part of the uh, uh, camera i mean the focus or focus of the camera is hitting uh, where it's hitting the middle of the object those are actually appearing like it's smoother but the outer edge you can see there is a still a hardness the same hardness you you have here on smooth model so it's a kind of a, uh, a, a I mean, average normal size uh, average normal shading like uh, it's just averaging out the uh, shading direction of of each and every individual face but that is not what exactly we want we want a complete uh, smoother version but to be very frankly speaking this option has a very big role to play while saving your performance so be uh, very uh, careful about this option now same thing if you apply for this uh, simple box and hit uh, render you can see this uh, the inner part of the object has been smoothened out but the outer part is still rough so here actually you can uh, you can see there's no no output difference at all so here I'll just make it make this these two flat and here go to the modifier menu like modifier option and you will use the sub uh, subdivision surface okay now 
the moment if you the, you apply it you'll see some differences the object has been subdivided now that is what subdivision uh, subdivision surface, surface actually do it will create a subdivided model of your original model which will help you to make your model appear more smoother now let's uh, get into the details of these options now first option is a simple one which actually leave your model exactly on the, on the you know same state and if you hit render you will see there is no changes actually happen so it's the same model that has been used okay great so the second one the which is the default one is the catmull clerk the catmull clerk is two different uh, person who actually you know uh, created this calculation if you want to get into the deeper into the calculation you can uh, visit the uh, wikipedia and uh, there are others uh, also but uh, you know the catmull is the one which uh, the eight catmull from the pizza so he is the guy who, who actually these two guys are the one who actually invented this one so uh, moving on to the uh, other options the first option is a subdivision which is uh, very very important because this will help you a lot uh, while making you know balance out your heavier scene now first thing is the view and the render now what are these two options these two options actually differentiate that what kind of subdivision level you want in your uh, viewport and what kind of subdivision level you, you want in your render so there's a funny side of it let's say i i don't want any subdivision in my viewport but i want a view a render subdivision at level four now what it actually can do hit render and you will see the difference between these two now see i have put my for the my model uh, if you go to the uh, modify menu you can see my render is in four the subdivision level four but my viewport count is absolutely zero so that means my render will create the smoother version of my model whereas whereas my viewport will be still and smooth which will help me a lot to you know navigate through the uh, viewport when i'm having a huge scene where there's a lot of a lot of different kind of heavy objects are out there maybe a model which is very very much rich in mesh count so this will help a lot because your memory consumption will be very low while you are working on the viewport whereas when you are rendering it will calculate the most uh, to get you give you the the final output now <clears> the <throat> same things happens to this object also I just apply it and immediately you can do this is it's, it's just shrink it down and if I hit three or four into the render you can see there's no changes in the subdivision level in the viewport but if you hit render you can immediately see the differences now you can understand that though i make the four uh, division in in my monkey and also also in the box you can understand that is still uh, you know uh, face or edges are visible it's not completely smooth if you can uh, watch it carefully St still you can see the box and the shading is not completed i mean it's not it's not actually smooth though it's not visible over here but this one is completely visible now here comes the i told you that last time when i was talking about this smooth and flat so here comes this one this i mean though you can pump up your render level i mean render level of subdivisions like five or six or even up if your uh, card permit or if you have a very good amount of ram and hit render uh, see significantly the rendering time has been increased so you can see that though it has been already been smoothed out but it's it's quite high i mean it's if you see the number of render subdivision six it's really high i mean sometimes though this this thing doesn't have that much of uh, heavier objects but few uh few scene can contain a huge huge number of objects where you cannot afford to you know hit the render division level to six so what we can do is in this case we can 
reduce this one and use this smooth shading see let's see what what it actually you know I'm just reducing this to and go to the smoothness level smooth uh, shading now if we hit render you'll see you have a lot more better result than the previous one but I can hit this level to three maybe yes uh, render ah so you can see I haven't used this uh, subdivision level of six in render whereas I have just used the uh, subdivision level of three in the render and by hitting that uh, shading option in the uh, sorry the smoother option in the uh, shading uh, smooth shading uh, for the viewport and it it will it will help me actually you know uh, to smoothen out my or averaging out my uh, facial normals and uh, help me to make my uh, object look more smoother or organic in in the render view so this is the the very basic part of uh, or the uh, subsurf modifier and uh, now i'll discuss about these uh, options now this first option is actually uh, it's a it's a very uh, good one which i think you need uh, to you know uh, use almost every time because it's a default one uh, if you see the UVs when you are uh, I'm not go going very much deeper into the UVs now what they will do is they will subdivide the UVs also so if you check on off this option your uh, UVs will not going to be uh, subdivided now optimal display is uh, very important now uh, why I'm saying this is uh, when you are having a very large scene uh, and a lot of different kind of uh, smooth objects and all what you can do is you can con when you are in a uh, where from mode like uh, this one if I hit Z and I'm back to the where from mode you can see that the object is also subdivided so if I hit two or maybe three though we shouldn't but uh, though we should not uh, pump up our uh, subdivision level of our viewport or uh, more than the render but still I'm just for the sake of but in the moment if you hit uh, optimal display what you're gonna see is it will create an you know a uh, very basic level of smoothness very busy it doesn't affect by the uh, shading because it's not a shading calculation it's a wireframe so even if this one if you see there's only viewport level one and if you hit optimal display you will see the only the outer edge which is the uh, edge of the your basic object so you can see there is no subdivision happened there is no subdivision uh, cage is there which is visible but if you switch off you can see the subdivision level which has been which I have used in uh, viewport like subdivision level one. If I move back, it's zero. So it doesn't matter when uh, it's it's it will not going to show you the you know uh, any base level of because it's already in the base level. Now if I pump up like three and turn off the optimal display, you can see all the subdivision levels are visible in the uh, in the wireframe mode. Whereas if I turn on the optimal display it is not there so it will keep your viewport more lighter than than anything uh, because it's not calculating all those subdivision at all okay but definitely if you hit Z uh, it is calculating actually you can see that so this is absolutely for the uh, uh, wireframe view where wherever you want your object to be appeared in wireframe mode Okay, now open subdiv or use open subdiv is absolutely for the viewport uh, viewport purpose. Now this is useful for the animators when uh, when they are playing animation and it will help you, you know, uh, to optimize your shading level or subdivision level and also simultaneously playing the animation uh, in a in a very good FPS rate. So that depends on your how much how much computing power you are having in your uh, 
video card and if you turn on you will see by default it will show you that open subdivision is dis uh, disabled in your user preferences and what you have to do is you have to go to the user preferences and you have to uh, select the open subject cockpit method which by default it can be uh, uh, GLSL calculation that will be uh, specific on that it's it's very optimizing so that's it uh, for today and uh, this lesson hope you enjoy this uh, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us in Facebook and Twitter thank you very much